a poster promoting Ski World Cup women, its raises, has come under an avalanche of criticism for its choice of a naked woman as the main feature. The offending painting shows a nude image of a female sky jumping over some animal heads, while a woman with eyes looks between the woman's legs. Austria's summer in resort is using the painting to promote two days of races for the World Cup this month. Many on social media, however, objected to the portrayal of female athletes. The painting was commissioned from artist Christian Lott with Gator C, who has painted similar promotional material for the races in previous years. But this year, its rendition has been criticized more widely. It comes after a year in which multiple allegations emerged of sexual assault and even rape among Austria's female skiers. Going back the case, the accusations reported in Austrian and German media and involving at least one well-known coach constant at uproar earlier in the year. Former Austrian Olympic skier Nicole Werdenig, whose revelation that she was raped at age 16, prompted an investigation, labeled the center in poster sexist, writing about it on social media. She complained that the races at Samarin had been advertised with at her since work for years, and that the pose is less than athletic, with crossed skis making a fall certain. Finally, the completely uncalled for sexist subject that also depicts a beginner is fall is being discussed more publicly. She tweeted, a fallen woman lying naked in the snow is just not suitable as an advertisement for the World Cup race. Even if the artist interprets this post differently, she added, journalist Corinne Melbourne also put a spawn on the design. What professional skiers are extremely brave, concentrated, trained, combative, with by and the will to win. She tweeted, along with an image of the painting, and the comment, how skiers will be presented in 2018 on a poster officially commissioned by the province of Lower Austria. But others defended Gator C's work as an artist, pointing to a history of paintings in a similar style, including one featuring a naked male spire, which was made into a postage stamp in 1999. It was even presented by regional governor Johanna Michael Leitner, who thanked Gator C for his work. Austria's Federation told the German press agency to board that despite the outcry over the painting, the posters would not be removed unless the artist agreed. The statement provided to Austrian newspaper, the standard from the center in resort said that it regretted any offense caused and there was no intent to hurt feelings. The newspaper also quoted at a seat defending his design, saying he considered it a work of art for the public, in which the strength, independence and self-confidence of women is shown positively. The Ski World Cup is a lengthy competition, split into a large number of different events at different venues. The Summer Inn Resort will host the Women is Slalom and Giant Slalom on subtract 29th December. The United States military says it has killed 62 fighters from the Islamist group El Shabak being six airstrikes in Somalia. Four airstrikes on Saturday killed 32 militants, and a further two on Sunday killed 28, it said. In a statement, these were the deadliest air attacks in Somalia since November 2017. When the United States said it had killed 100 militants, Somalia has seen a sharp increase in the number of airstrikes and casualties since President Donald Trump took office in the United States in January 2017. A tally by the Bureau of Investigative Journalism reveals that at least 400 people have been killed in airstrikes. Since the beginning of 2017, far more than the previous 10 years combined, the latest strikes bring to at least 40 the number carried out in Somalia so far this year.
compared with 35 recorded in 2017. The United States has a huge military base in neighboring Djibouti. From where it launches attacks on the militants, Mr. Trump gave the US military greater authority in March 2017 to attack militants in Somalia. Traditionally, United States presidents have been wary of intervening in Somalia since the special forces soldiers eyed fighting militias in the capital Mogadishu. In 1993, a battle dramatized in the film Black Hawk Down. Most civilians were killed in the latest deer strikes, which were carried out in coordination with the Somali government. The United States military said, alongside our Somali and international partners, we are committed to preventing Al-Shabaab from taking advantage of safe heavens from which they can build capacity and attack the people of Somalia. The US Africa Command said, Al-Shabaab, which is linked to Al-Qaeda, has not yet commented on the latest strikes. Somalia-based security think tank the Hero Institute said, in a report published in November, that Al-Shabaab had been forced to change tactics following the upsurge in air strikes. The institute said the group was now conducting fewer mass attacks on military bases, but attacks on government offices and businesses which refused to pay. Its taxes had increased markedly. The US State Department, in its most recent report on terrorism, described Somalia as a terrorist safe haven and said Al Shabaab remained a threat despite suffering setbacks. The group retained control over large parts of the country and the ability to carry out high profile attacks using suicide bombers, explosive devices, mortars, and small arms. The report added, a popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Huawei's chief finance officer, Meng Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shenan Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Henan province said it would waive the 9美元 ticket fee for anyone carrying a Huawei phone. Miss Meng, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones, shoot grand photos on the mountain, and notice on the Shenlong Park is social media account said, we wish friends around the world, whose part Huawei success and bliss. The offer would last until 29 December. The South China Morning Post reported, but it was met with some criticism among China, its social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Who are way full owners are being offered other enticements to They can get a 20% discount at a border in Beijing. Seen in Beijing, bring a Who are way full and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday, HTTPS, T, Q-U-X-L-1-9-Y-P-Q-L-P-I-C, Twitter, C-O-M, Secret Elod, end of Twitter post by at Ocean T. At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpati Shenshan based LED and display manufacturer offered subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone, as prosecutors allege Ms. Mel. 46. Used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on year on between 2009 and 2014. They also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Miss Man, who is the daughter of Huawei's founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Huawei's high-flying errors. The US has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second largest smartphone maker since 2016, believing 
that it used Stacon to bring us manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions. Miss Man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing. China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences unless Canada releases the executive. Since her arrest, two Canadian side former diplomat and a businessman have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. As President Donald Trump said last week that he might intervene in the Arts Justice Department its case against Ms. Meng if it would serve national security interests. I'll help her achieve a trade deal with China. If I think it's good for what will be certainly the largest trade deal ever made which is a very important thing. What's good for national security?